Welcome back to the Pack Bros channel. I'm Rob. I'm Chris. And today we are breaking a couple of blasters of 2023 Prism draft picks. Uh, we wanted to get a hobby box of this, but quite honestly, missed the boat and they're all sold out, understandably. Basically, Wembenyama is the, the card and the, the player that you want to pull from these blasters. There are other good rookies as well. Uh, the Thompson brothers are on the packaging, so, you know, there's the, that opportunity. And then there's a couple others that are kind of escaping my mind right now. The real reason I bought this is for the Wembenyama potential. Um, these blasters have been known to have autos in them. We've done a lot of Chronicles, um, or sorry, Prism draft pick stuff in the past, as well as Chronicle stuff. So um, we'll see. Usually the base set features some, not legends, but known players. And we'll see if we can pull some Wemby Fire. Kind of kind of strange that they didn't pull Wemby on the box. I don't know. You know what I mean? You think that would be a Panini, you know? A pretty large selling point. Nothing against the Thompson twins. I mean, like they're they're fantastic, but you know, Wemby's been the talk of the town for like two for years. Retail exclusive green prisms. Sorry, green prism. Autographs. Now, I don't remember. I was going to say, I can't remember if Wemby signs for anybody else. I don't remember. He's not allowed to sign for Panini. Yeah, so there might not be any autos, but there no. still could be parallels. There are parallels. Wemby will not have a rookie auto in uh, in Panini. Got it. I, I Who do you sign with? I think he has an exclusive deal with Tops. Maybe. Because do doesn't Tops make Bowman? Tops makes Bowman. Okay, yeah, then it is Tops. Yeah, so but he... that was pre NBA, too, so it's tough to say. I think his contract extended over into his rookie year, so mm. you won't actually find any rookie autographs, which is strange, but if you open the Bowman stuff, like I did, and he got a Wemby <laughs> auto, like I did, then that's his quote-unquote rookie auto, right. even though he isn't in a Spurs jersey, he's in his uh, Metropolitan's 92 jersey. Yeah. So that's going to be considered his rookie auto. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm I'm sure whenever he he's in a Spurs jersey with an auto on it, that card's going oh, yeah. to go for yeah. plenty. Yeah, well, whether it's rookie or not. So, yeah. anyway, starting off with Tosin Evwamun, Ben Shepard, Clyde Drexler. That's nice cool. Gray, nice card. Chris Murray and a Jalen Clark, not numbered. I don't know if that's magenta or purple. So far, what are your thoughts on Wemby? Is he living up to the hype? Yeah, yeah, yeah. he is. is, he, he, uh... is. He, he's broken the game. That's that's the thing. Like yeah. it, he, this is it's not normal. Like what he's capable of doing at his height is not normal. So the the hype and the expectations need to be um, tempered. The expectation that he's going to be gr sorry, the hype that he's going to be great is realistic. Mm -hmm. The expectation that this guy who's playing the game unlike anybody has ever played before at his height to be immediately amazing is ridiculous. Yeah, it's not it's not fair. Yeah, he's in the right system. He's got the right coach. He's got the right culture and environment and players around him. A couple of vets would be nice, probably for him to have. But right now, for being for breaking the game style and not having a single person that he could model his game after, mm -hmm. he's doing fantastic. If he continues on his current trajectory, he'll meet all expectations. Trace Jackson Davis, Cade Cunningham, base, Omaha Bloom, Kim Olajuwon. Wide screen of Nick Smith Jr. and a Jerace Walker Green Prism rookie. I think the, the, the interesting thing right now uh, with this season is the Wemby versus Chet uh, rookie of the year. Yeah. That is, it is pretty darn close. I, I'm seeing it 50 50 online with the opinion. Something Chet should get it or is going to get it, and others think Wemby is going to get it by the end. It's a little bit unfair, to be honest, um, because Chet, I mean, I know he was injured, but at the same time in his. I mean, when you're when you're a teenager, you have a year of development. You're growing. You're you're thickening. You know, in his in his rehab, he got a chance to build up. He got to be around the game. Um, this sort of thing has happened before. When when players have to take their first year off, and then they come in at an older age and end up winning Rookie of the Year with somebody who's probably right. more deserving of it. So, I, I think the Chet versus Wemby conversation is strictly just for that award. I don't think it has anything yeah. to do beyond that because also Chet is surrounded by way more talent. Mm -hmm. Than what Wemby's surrounded by. So yeah. Timmy Allen, Jeremy Soshin, Embiid, and a Russell Westbrook silver prism. Yeah, I think people need to relax on that that conversation. I I do think ultimately probably Chet will win. Mm -hmm. I just think he's going to be afforded more opportunity to have great games than Wemby will. Right. Speaking of Chet, unfortunately, it's a second year card. Jarius Walker again, Desmond Bain, Donovan Klingon, fireworks of Trey Young. And a green of Desmond Bain. These cards came out pretty clean this year, I will say. Yeah, thank God. I know I know the design is not uh, obviously not revolutionary, but they, they just feel nice and clean, balanced. I don't see many manufacturing lines on the front. I'm not saying they're all pens, don't get me wrong, but it just feels nice. 
I like the name that I saw on the back. I'm assuming that's Wemby. No. Oh. Jalen Clark, Bradley Beal, Colby Bufkin. And of course, on the one that I get Magic Johnson in the back, it's just a base pack. <laughs> I thought it'd be some sort of colored Magic Johnson. Kendrick Davis, Carl Malone, Leaky Black Rookie, Jay Nivey, and a Donovan Klingon, Green Prism. Womp womp. All right. No Thompson, no Wemby on your side. Nothing. Nothing of note. Bunch of rookies I don't hardly even know. All right. Starting it off on my end, we have Colby Jones on the rookie, Jalen Brown, Dariq Whitehead on the rookie, Benedict Mathurin. Yep. On the base, fireworks hey, let's of go! Victor Wembenyama. Let's go. The Wemby magic continues. It's coursing through my veins. Wicked. I love it. Got a sleeve for that? Let's put that in right away. He deserves a he deserves a clean, fresh sleeve. There's a machine line right at the bottom, so probably not going to grade it. But regardless, still a nice pull. Still very nice. So that just got us both our booster boxes back. I assume or, so. Uh, blasters. I assume so. I should say. Damn, there's like it's actually pretty well centered. There's just one manufacturing line in the silver right at the bottom. Probably of course there is. Not a 10. All right, next pack and our second Wemby hit coming up. Hope so. Mojave, Mojave King. Sure, why not? All right. Patrick Ewing on the black and white. Trey Young. Kaysen Wallace on the rookie. And a Cam nice. Whitmore. Nice. On the green nice. prism rookie. Nice. I think Cam Whitmore is going to be a great player, honestly. I got his, uh, I got his auto in the Bowman. Um, after doing a little more research, I'm, he's a stud. He is a stud. He's not going to get a lot of playing time this year, unfortunately, but I think he's going to develop into a, a really solid player. It's really all about the, the system he's in, you know? Evan Mobley. We got Shaq. Nick Smith Jr. on the rookie. Adam Sonogo on the rookie. Webby. Taylor Hendricks on the purple, magenta, something. Rookie. No number. Three packs left. I think it's a prism purple wave. Prism purple wave. All right. I think so. Donovan Mitchell on the base. Scoot Henderson on nice. the base rookie. Very nice. Jerry West. The logo. That's sick. I like these uh these yes. old school throwback ones. These, these are very, very nice. I, I like agree. them. Tristan Vukcevic, I think. Vukcevic, but yeah. It could be it's probably Vukcevic. On the rookie. And Jimmy Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler. A young Jimmy Butler before his emo phase. <laughs> <laughs> on the before, green, before a lot of phases. On the green prism. It's not a phase, mom. It's a lifestyle. Larry Bird. I, I like that. I love Jimmy. I like that a lot. Larry Legend. Steph, Steph Curry. Oh, can we keep the names going? No. No. Tosin. Not trying the last name on the rookie base. Silver rookie. Prism of Trace Jackson I've Davis. Not, I've never seen the Prism hit before the last hit. I'm hoping it's an auto. Something. It's, it's a insert. rookie. It's a rookie insert. That looks like a different... Is this like a case hit type deal? I don't know. It looks animated. Like like uh, like like you know how like the downtowns are and stuff yeah, like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, Well, we're going to find out in three, two, one. Jordan Hawkins on the Prism break. Rookie. That's a pretty cool design, I gotta say. It is cool design. I have no idea how rare the prison breaks are, but... I don't think it's ever. Just an insert. That's still a cool insert. I agree. I'll take that. We also put the silver prism over there in the rookie file. All right, last pack. Last chance of another Wemby. Yeah, give me a colored Wemby. Colored Wemby. A green. We're due for a green, I think. No? Would be fantastic. You got one green. Oh, I got two greens here. No, no, I got, I got a green in this one as well. Ben Shepard. Actually, I prefer a base rookie. Can you believe the silver is so bad in the green? Yeah, it's very strange. Clyde Drexler, Chet, Jarris Walker on the rookie, and our last hit. Wemby. Out Wemby. of our two blasters. Wemby. It's going to be a Thompson, actually. I just I just, I just figured it out. It is going to be a Thompson. Thompson. Nope. Okay. It's a KJ Evans. My bad. Non rookie. My bad. Green. My bad. Well, there you go. not bad. I mean, two blasters. You get what you get. We got some color. We got some silver prisms. We got some decent rookies. And the big hit is a Wemby Fireworks. Yeah. Which I think is sick. You know, I, I I bought this to get to try and hit Wemby. And we hit so, him. And also Scoot Henderson, base rookie. Yep. Very nice. Yep. What was the other uh the other insert I got? Cam Whitmore on the green. I personally think this is the, he's like a he's like a sleeper guy. 
mm-hmm. um, this year. Uh, th- this card may not be worth much right now. I'm, I'm going to, just off the top of my head, assume that it's like a couple bucks, maybe three, four dollars, if that. Uh, but I think in time, Cam Whitmore is going to go up in value. Yep. Oh, overall, pretty good. And truth is, the draft picks prism cards never sell for as much as the actual NBA certified prism cards. And we know that. But I, I really like that basically you're getting either rookies or stars in a variation you've never seen them in right. on a normal card, right? right? We got Steph Curry in a Davidson jersey. We got uh, Isaiah in, um, uh, whatchamacallit, in a, a Michigan State jersey. Or, 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 or I can't remember exactly who it was. There was a Michigan State jersey here. Sorry, not Isaiah. Uh, Magic. Mm-hmm. Um, it adds a certain value to those base cards. And I know it's hard to turn base cards, but I'll tell you this quick little story here uh, before I let you guys go. I just did my first show, uh, local show, this this past weekend. Um, and I sorted out a $0.50 cent dollar bin, $2 bin, $5 bin, $10 bin. Do you know how many of these like old legend base cards I moved for like a buck? So I made 200 bucks off just $0.50 oh cent dollar cards. Um it, it was it was substantial uh and it's just because you know and, and the, just because it was a name of somebody and a, a base card of that person and obviously it's not a rookie card but you've never there's no other product that has the these yeah the, these players <clears throat> yep. in in those jerseys so um it's neat I, I, it's an added value and i like that added value i think it's i think it's important for products to give us that added value yeah uh, if you're going to give us base i i want to be clear i love opening packs i hate the one pack boxes but if you're not going to try and offer me a little bit of value in that base then just make it a one pack box yeah. and, and save me the time <laughs> yeah um you know like like the parallels the colors the this the that the inserts just give me a little bit more and i don't think this was intentional in the way they did this i think they just wanted to fill out to make a new product so yeah. they, they went that route yeah um but it does add value those cards are worth a buck a piece and for a for a 40 dollar blaster every dollar counts well there we have it. I mean, if you like what you saw here, please leave a comment below and let us know if you'd like to see us do another two blasters. I think these were pretty average blasters, uh, with the exception of the Wemby insert there, um, which is great to be honest. When you're hitting average, you're doing well. That's mm-hmm. the truth yeah. of of this this product and and the way card breaking works. Uh, and if you like what you see here, please subscribe so you can see more breaks. Uh, we do all kinds of breaks every single week, all kinds of sports, TCG, you name it. Um, but for now, the Pack Bros are to packs. So we're at a time. We'll see you guys later.